comfy chair. Playing with the grandkids, uh, like seven year old. I, we're, she's always doing something, you know, and and it got to where I just couldn't, just couldn't keep up with her, couldn't participate. And she, well, Grandpa, come on, you know. So, you know, things like that. They may be little things, but they're good things. Okay, well today we're just checking on you. Just this sure. is a study for patients who have had lead failure, who have had significant changes to their care, to their health, and arguably don't have any, a whole lot of other options. You know, Dr. Lataha laid it out what they would, you know, I needed to do something. So he laid out what my options were. I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a chance. So, there I am. And this is actually a leadless left ventricular pacing system. And it involves using an ultrasound transducer. And the ultrasound transmitter is placed here between, between your ribs. And it sends an ultrasonic pulse through the chest to a tiny little electrode that's implanted inside the heart. It's the size of a cooked grain of rice. And every time the heart beats, that electrode is stimulated and causes a pacing stimulus in this part of the heart. There's very few sites in the United States that were chosen to do this. I think it shows that we are, we're innovators, that we are interested in delivering up-to-date and best patient care. It shows that we have good physicians, that we have good staff, that we have good research staff, that we have good clinic staff, that our patients are, trust us enough to say, would you be part of this clinical trial and help others as well? I like to think that we're globally competitive. I don't like to think locally because I don't think there are any other cardiovascular groups that compete in the way that we are on the studies that we're doing. When we look at the numbers on our studies, we're looking at the global teams or at least the national teams. You can get procedures done here that are not done anywhere else and a lot of the procedures that are also done uh, other places, we do more of here. So I'm, I'm very proud of our electrophysiology and, and cardiology program that we have here. I think it also is a testament to our patients that they're willing to, to be part of clinical trials because it, it does take a, a bit of a leap of faith on, on their part to say, you know, step into the unknown with, the, with their life, with, with their body. And I think that, uh, you know, if there's not a trusting relationship you have with your, with your physician, with your doctor, there, no one would say yes to that. I think we have a really unique combination of offering really innovative patient care, but still having that one-on-one that -on -one interaction with patients. Do you have any questions for me? Okay. No? No. We want someone else's mom, someone else's son, someone else's best friend to be safe and healthy and well. I'm, I'm glad I participated in it. Three, two, one. We treat one patient, but the data, is, if it's quality, it means that the FDA approves a drug that can save a life. And they all care. And, uh, you know, that, that's a lot. You know, it's important for me that the field advances, that the people that are doing this 10, 20 years from now are, are doing things that are new and better. And I'm, I'm really excited to be sort of, sort of part of that, part of the future of the field.